Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more problem from the lead code. And this is from the top interview question series I've been working on from lead code. So the link of that particular playlist will be in the description of this video. So go check it out. I've been making out a lot of videos from the placement and interview type of questions from lead code itself. So stay tuned. The problem I'm in focus on is easy. Then I'll move to medium and then hard. Fine. So the problem name is Fizzbus. It's a very standard problem. And uh, the problem goes like this, that you're given an integer n, return a string array answer, which is one indexed where answer of i is printed as Fizzbus. If i is divisible by three and five, if answer of i, like answer of i is equal to Fizz, if the i is divisible by only three, answer of i is equal to bus if it is only divisible by five. And if it is not divisible by three or five, the answer of i is the particular number in string format. Okay. I'll tell you an example so that it will become more clear to you. So what you can see here is that let's say we'll start printing out. So this question actually mostly focuses on how you can place a particular code of snippet. Okay. So what you can see here is that if we have, we have to print out from one till 10, the Fizzbus sequence. Okay. So for n is equal to one, this number is neither divisible by three or five. So the answer is one in string. Then the, for two, it is also st in string, but for three, now three is, we have to see that if it is divisible by three, we have to print face Okay. If, if this number or like any number, let's say I is divisible by three, then and it is divisible by five, then we have to put bus. And if this I is divisible by three and I is divisible by five, then we put face bus together. Fine. Now this three is only divisible by like this I is only divisible by three. So answer is face only here. Now when you come to four, four is nothing divisible by three or five. So answer is only four in string format. When it comes down to five, the answer is buzz. Okay. Similarly, when we moved on here then it comes down to 15. So 15 is ruled by both three and five. So answer is fizz buzz and so on. Now how you can do this? The main, like this problem is very easy. Okay. You just have to check it out whether the number is used by three and five, but the only problem in this, like in this question is that how you will place the order of checks. By mean that, let's say, if you somewhat do a for loop from i from one till let's say n, okay, whatever n is given to you, and you just check in this for loop that if i is divisible by three, print like print face. If i is divisible by five, print bus. If i is divisible by three and five, print Fizzbus, but this code is wrong. Okay. That is the whole like purpose of this problem. Why? Because let's say when my I becomes three, then this condition will hit. Okay. And will print face similarly for three, six, nine, but then it comes to 15. Again, 15 is reduced by three. So the answer will come down to phase only. Okay. It will not go to this condition because I divided by three is only one condition and it will become true when obviously 15 divided by three. So we should not be placing this line first, but instead of we should place this line first. Okay. Which means that I should first check that whether I is divided by three and five in that scenario, we should pr print Fizzbus. And if I is not divided by three and five, so the case can be, it is now either divided by three or divided by five. So because when it is 15, it will directly go to this condition because that is on the top. It will print face bus. But if it is three, it will be divisible by three, but it will not be divisible by five. So this condition in the top will not be it. And thus it will go down. And in the down, you can put this condition that now if I is divisible by three, you can put face. That is fine. If it is divisible by five, put bus. And if it's not divisible by three, five and both. So the answer is like the same number in string format. 
it is a very simple problem nothing much complicated you just have to understand one thing that you don't have to put this condition first and then this condition in the last position but instead this condition should be in the first position why because if this condition is not in the first position if this this condition in the first position then this condition will always hit for i is by 3 and this condition will not met and thus this first bar will not be printed that is the only case for this problem that's much complicated so the overall thing that we have to do is that we have to make a vector of answers and from 1 till i we have to just move a for loop and in the for loop, we just have to check that in the first condition only, if i divided by 3 and i equal to 5, the answer is phase bus. You have to also use an else if the other case can be if i is divided by 3, then you just print phase. If i is divided by 5, you, you just print bus. And if it's i is not divided by 3 and 5, okay, so I printed this condition here again, so that is wrong. Okay, and else in the else condition, you just print out or like push or like whatever you can say in the in the vector. You will print out the same number in string format. So you can use this two string function provided by C plus plus, and this will help you to convert any number. Okay, two up like the same string. So if you in, like insert in this two string function five, so this function will return five in the string format. So that is how you can convert any number to string. So uh, you can just pass out that particular number that is not fulfilling any of these three conditions. Send this to this function, it will convert that convert that particular number in string and you can just print answer. So that's the overall logic. So the overall like time complexity for this problem is O of n because we are just using a for loop. Nothing space complexity because we're not storing out. Okay, we are storing out an answer, so it is O of n also for answer. So that's the overall solution and code part for this problem. Thank you.